I find it easiest to draw my pipeline with a polyline and then use that to create the pipe network. In this drawing, I've already drawn my polyline with the appropriate curves and bends. Now, I want to convert it to a network. When working with water lines, typically the pipe will follow the contour of the ground and will have a specific cover over the pipe. To get the pipe to follow the surface, we'll need to add additional vertices to the polyline. Under the Modify tab, select Insert PI. If you're using Civil 3D 2012, do not have the polyline selected when running this command as it will cause a fatal error. I choose Insert PI, select the polyline. We want to add a series of vertices to this polyline, so choose the command line option for Increment. For the increment, choose an appropriate distance. I like to use the typical length of a PVC or ductile iron pipe, 18 feet to 20 feet. Now to get this polyline to follow the surface, we'll use the Elevation from Surface command in the Modify tab. Choose your surface and do not use the Insert Intermediate Grade Breakpoints. Select your polyline, and now it is following exactly along the surface. Now, simply move the polyline down to where you want the center line of the pipe to go. Under the Modify tab, I like to use the Raise Lower option. Select your polyline, and select the distance you'd like to move it down. In this case, I'm going to be creating an 8-inch water line. It has an 8.48 inch outer diameter and I want 5 feet of cover over it so I'm going to lower the pipe 5 feet 4.24 inches or 5.35 feet. Now that the polyline has been created it's time to create the pipe network. Before we do this however there is one more step that must be completed. If you create a pipe network from a 3D polyline like what we have here in this drawing the pipes and structures won't be all connected to each other and it'll cause a lot of headaches. So, before converting it to a pipe network, simply convert it to a feature line. Select the polyline. On the Home tab, select Create Feature Line from Objects. Most of the settings here don't matter, as we will be getting rid of the feature line when we create the network. But I do like to erase the existing entities. And you can also weed the points. This will make those long, straight pipe runs one continuous pipe instead of a series of short pipes. The values you use here will be determined by your best engineering judgment. Now it's time to convert the feature line to a network. On the Home tab, choose Create Pipe Network from Object. Select the feature line we just created and hit Enter to accept the flow direction. As this is a pressure system, the flow direction doesn't matter. Name your network. Here I'll use Water. Choose your parts list and the size of pipe you'd like to use. I'm creating an 8 inch pipe here. For your structure, we'll use a null structure. This is the structure that will be put at the joint of each pipe. You can also choose a surface and an alignment if you so desire. These are optional. Since this feature line was created for the sole purpose of creating the network, I will choose to erase it and I'm also going to use the vertex elevations and I'll use the center line option as that's the elevation that I lowered that feature line to. We now have a network. Simply take those null structures where we should have structures, in this case a 22 degree bend, select the structure, right click and choose swap part. This is also available on the ribbon. I'm going to swap this for an 8 inch 22 degree bend and now simply rotate it. I find the extension object snap to be helpful here to the appropriate angle. Oftentimes when swapping parts the structures will be placed at the wrong elevation. To remedy this, select the part, right click, and apply the rules. Again, the apply rules is also available on the ribbon. Once the rules have been applied, you'll see the structure is now at the appropriate elevation. 